So we're going to do a few videos on the pocket operators from Teenage Engineering. They've been out around a year or so now, but as of this new year, I think they've, they've gone down to about £39 to pick up one of these. So very affordable, very portable, and really fun to use. And um, you can actually, the battery powered, so the power with two AAA batteries on the back. And there's three in the range. We'll do a video on all three and also look at how we can chain all three together for some quite fun sequencing. I'm going to start looking at the PO12, which is the Rhythm, which is a drum machine and uh, also step sequencer. So there's no on or off switch for these. They power down when they've not been used for a while and literally just press any one of the buttons and it's effectively like turning it on. You can see the lights light up and then we can start start triggering some of the sounds. So we'll begin by looking at the different sounds that we have on offer on this uh, drum machine here. So we can trigger different sounds and uh, we need to make sure we're not in right mode. So if I hit this right button here, you can see the little record icon comes up there. We want to be out of right mode to just trigger the sounds and I can select any one of, well we have 14 different drum sounds, we have a tone and a bass sound as well. So as long as we're not in right mode, we'll look at right mode a bit more later on in this video. With, with right mode enabled, you, you just press it there and you see the little record icon load up. Uh, press it again and it turns off. With it off, we can trigger individual different drum sounds here and we have a bass drum, nice punchy analog sounding bass drum and then we have two parameters to change uh, the sound of the bass drum um, and we have parameter or knob A and that is pitch and you can see this A uh, here as you move that control you can see that it's reflected there on that A column there and also B which is like envelope but also very high it's almost like a transient kind of enhancer there and so we have those controls for each drum sound so we have the bass drum snare drum closed hat open hat synthesized snare sticks cymbal noise Hand clap, click, low tom, high tom, cowbell, blip, and as I mentioned before, a tone for and a bass sound. So, just so we can add a little bit of musical context to our, our rhythms there. So we have this sound button here, we have pattern as well. So if, say if I hit play now, it's playing our sequence. If I hold sound and press one, it shows me the kick drums in the loop. If I now hold sound and press the hi-hat, you can see the lights, the LED lights change, it's showing me the hi-hats in the loop. Or now I've hit sound and press two, which is the snare, showing me where the snares are. If we want to make edits to this sequence in and this programming, we go into right mode. I press right mode, you can see the record button there. And now I can change the snares in the group. I'll go back to hold sound and press one, and it brings up my kick drums again. And I can take the kick drums out or just put a simple four to the floor pattern back in. But you need to be in right mode. So this icon there, the record icon, if that's not on, you're just triggering different buttons, uh, triggering different drum sounds. If it is on, then you're into the step sequencer and in order to activate or bring up the programming for any one of these individual sounds, hold sound and press you know, I've loaded up the low toms. There's no low toms in there, but, but we can put them in very quickly. So you can get really cool 
drum sequences down very quickly. You've got 16 steps in a sequence. And as we're looking there, the pattern button, we also, we have 16 different patterns. And so it comes preloaded with patterns, but it's, you're constantly saving over those patterns. So I've been messing around with this quite a bit now. So pretty much most of the patterns have probably changed, but you load a pattern by holding down pattern button, say press number 12 there, and that's empty. Okay, 16, quite a few of these are empty now. Oh no, that's got some sounds in there. Hold down pattern, press number three. And if you notice, it it won't switch to the pattern straight away. It plays to the end of the 16 steps in that pattern, and then jumps to the next pattern if you've loaded one. And on top of the ability to have 16 different patterns, we can also chain up to 16 different patterns together. So I'm playing pattern two now. Say if I want to then have that automatically followed by pattern one and then pattern three, I hold down the pattern button, press two, one, three. And it's playing those three patterns. So you can chain up to 16 different patterns together. So you could have something like, say if we load up pattern one now, I could have pattern one play three times, then followed by pattern two play once as a bit of a drum fill. So hold down pattern, press one three times and two once. And you have that little kind of pattern fill come in there. And then next to the pattern button, we have this BPM. So if I press this once, you see techno appears up there. Everything starts moving at techno pace. And the BPM is reflected in the top right hand corner there, 140 BPM. Press it again, and we've now got hip hop, it's 80 BPM. I press it one more time, and we get disco, 120. So you have those three tempo settings, and then if you want a bit more finer tuning, finer control, something other than those three settings, hold BPM, knob B, and you can see you tweak the tempo there and you can go from 60 BPM up to 240 and knob A is swing or shuffle so hold BPM and knob A becomes the swing so and we get a bit of a swing on our, our drum rhythm there And also the BPM button acts as a volume button. So if I hold it down, if you can see uh, up to step or number 12 there, the button 12 is lit up. That's the volume of the, the rhythm at the moment. I can turn it down, turn it up. So we access the volume there, holding down BPM and pressing any one uh, the button from 1 to 16 and then we've got a few more buttons down here so we have this function button so we can very quickly just clear a pattern using function and pressing pattern now we're still in a pattern sequence say pattern 1 here I've cleared that now and then I could start writing something in using the fact function button so say if we go to pattern 1 now and we've cleared it and I'm in record, I'm in write mode, load up the kick drum, load in a kick drum four to the floor, load in the snare, load in a hi-hat on the offbeat, load in some per percussion and you can just really quickly get really cool kind of drum rhythms down and then just very quickly clear them using function and pattern. Then we've got this effects button here. So we've got 16 different effects slots there in, in here and we access them by holding down effects and then pressing any one from uh, button one to 16. And each one's a different effect. Ranging from kind of delays, filters, bit crushing, distortion stutters, repeats. I like this, uh, I think it's button eight, the high pass filter. 
And then once you've written that effect, that kind of, it's like recorded in, is almost like automation really. And then you get rid of it by just holding down the effects button for the full sequence. Or if you just want to write in for a short period of the sequence. And then write it out again, hold down effects. And I think mm, the button 13 is note shuffle, so it shuffles all the drum sounds. So you can get some really cool drum fills going that way. So I really like that effects button really fun to use. Then we also have uh, parameter locking. So we were looking earlier at how we can pitch uh, the individual sounds or use the decay envelope to change the, the decay. We can actually record that into a sequence. So say if I go and load the kick drum here, go out of record mode, so out of write mode, then hold it, hold the, the right button down, and now you can see I'm moving knob A, knob B, and you can see those, it's like recorded in like automation really, parameter locking it's called, and then I could say load in the snare now, go on sound, and then two, hold down right, and just done those little tweaks. So it's quite cool for, um, say, getting some, we've gone to this percussion hit now, some tuned percussion in there. That's really cool. And you can also record stuff in live. So say if we go function clear, pattern's empty now, and we're not in right mode, if I hold down the right button, and trigger any one of the 16 sounds, I record it in live. So hold down right button mode, hold down the right button again, and now look at the snare. Maybe add some low tom, high tom, hold down right button. and it just will snap where the way you record it snaps it to the nearest 16th step so really nice to just very quickly get rhythms down and there's also something called step multiplier so say if we look now go into right mode and go hold down sound button and press uh, button 1 load up our kick drum, say we, I didn't know, say put it just four to the floor. I want to do a little bit of a drum kind of flam I guess on one of these kick drums, say this fourth kick drum here. What I can do is hold it down, press BPM, and you see this little button that's appeared there or kind of icon, and it doubles up the kick drum. And I can do it again, and it doubles it up again, do it again and it kind of does that like drum roll or do it again oh, like that's you get rid of it by holding it down and then keeping hold of the BPM button and then it gets rid of it but then you can kind of write it back in and it sounds really cool on say if we add some hi-hats in here it sounds really cool on the hi-hats so a step multiplier and you can just get those nice little kind of doubled up drum hits okay so that's the po12 rhythm from pocket operator the drum machine in the next video we're going to check out the po14 which is the sub in this range all right thanks <laughs>